Welcome to the news. First story. Peter doesn't have braces anymore. He was quoted saying, Yippity dippity doo da, whippity whoopity woo. We think he misses them. Second story. Michael Gove is no longer the education minister. We interviewed the British public and they were quoted saying, Yippity dippity doo da, whippity whoopity woo. So on Saturday, some of my friends got together to go to a camping trip, which I was invited to, but I wasn't able to go to. So I was, I was quite sad that I didn't get to go because it looked like fun and I was missing out on all of that stuff. But then I thought, you know what? I wasn't actually missing out because the reason I couldn't go was because I was at Thorpe Park. So yes, I did miss out on camping, but I didn't miss out on fun because I was at Thought Park. Say you're quite an introverted person, so you do have friends and you like going out with them, but say you go out with them for like three days in a row, you like need a day to re recharge and relax by yourself. And on that fourth day, when you're not there, everyone goes to a party, and then they're like on Facebook, like, oh, you missed out on all the fun, man, we were all throwing up everywhere, oh man, it's great. You could look at it like you've missed out on that fun, but if you're not the sort of person that enjoys those parties, you could have had an equal amount of fun reading a book at home or playing Skyrim or something. Some people can enjoy themselves just as much being by themselves sometimes, and some people have more fun in large groups, and that's fine as well. Basically what I'm trying to say is don't always feel like you're missing out, because although you might not have gone to one thing, you might have had an equally or more fun time doing something else. So don't feel like you're missing out all of the time. I feel like every time I do a video sitting down, I activate like Philosopher Peter mode or something. So I have to give some sort of uplifting message like colour stuff in. Or you're not always missing out. Uh, I don't know why, that's just the way things work, obviously. Last week I asked you to vote for the best Sean out of my boy Sean the Lad and dope fresh Don Sean and the results are in. And so with an impressive and slightly humorous 69% of the votes, my boy Sean the Lad has won. My boy Sean the Lad, well done. Don't tell Dope Fresh Don Sean, but I wanted you to win the whole time. So I've actually got you this crown, um, so just prepare your head, and I will um, just put this on. Are you ready? Okay, um, there we go. If you want to see my next uplifting message as soon as it's uploaded, feel free to subscribe. And to see my last one where I gave the revelation that you should colour stuff in, click the video that's got a, a mildly pink background. But goodbye, and I hope to see you soon.